go on with the the next one which should be Chester one uh, which is a platformer uh sh there's like shooting involved but it's mostly platforming um Looks like there's like a lot of like retro and faux retro references. So we'll see again, like it may end up trying too hard or it may end up being actually pretty funny. We'll see. Uh press start slash enter, so I will press start. Well, I'm immediate what was it? Uh what was that XBLA game that X are the uh, the Xbox Indies? The dishwasher was it? Something like that. Like this, this extremely sketch notebook style. Like more so than Luca: Born of a Dream. Like that that had the the loose animation feel, but this is literally like high schooler drawings in a notebook kind of style. I guess that's just one of many aesthetics. So there's that. It is clearly Mega Man. Mr. Game and Watch. Okay. There's a lot of like different different playable characters, I guess. Let's let's see what this is about. Unlock bestiary page for a sign. Like stamps to buy stuff from a weird guy. We can wall jump, we can double jump. There we go. I I needed that that last stamp. I I destroyed the stamps. Double jump, yes, as is my intent. I've collected a brain. Okay. What? What did I just do? I, I just I just did something. It it changed the style for a moment. So that was interesting. I did it again. So I guess this is a thing. This is going to be a thing. We're just constantly shifting aesthetics. Sure, just eat the magic floating candy. Seems smart. Are we tripping balls? I, I ran into too many frogs. Getting this double jump is way more annoying than you would expect, and honestly more annoying than it should be. Slower enemies. Okay, so as, like, the, uh, the world changes visually, it also does change mechanically, it would seem. Yeah, I don't know what this is doing.
This is the, the aesthetics on this are very strange. And how it's like constantly changing style on top of it. Reduced gravity. Okay. Oh, we have to use this. Because we have to have it to make this jump. I see. It keeps running out. Keep missing it. Um, almost, come on. That was a little needlessly tight. A ship piece, I guess. Pull down and okay. How do I get up into this though? Because there's a secret. Let's work. I'm trying to do the double jump again. It just does does not want to work when I'm doing that. Lethargic enemies. That did not seem especially lethargic, it should be said. Chester level two. Do we level up? I mean, that's that's the strong indication. Does he have a full charge? Press Y. Please unleash no furries. Well, fuck you. We're unleashing. Slow down time. He died. Like the wall jump is super manageable. Oh, we don't even need to wall jump. Uh, once I piece together like, oh, it's... It's, uh... You know, push, a, push away from the wall rather than against. And it's pretty grippy. So that's nice. For level three... I guess our, like, stamp level carries as we go. So even if we die, we're fine. Oh, you're still alive. I'm just gonna run away. And I collected the thing down there, so I kinda don't, don't care. Gain experience with each character to level up their special attacks. Right. We've unknowingly done that. The 
camera behavior is like kind of weird. Like, I don't know what that was all about. Right there. I stole your cupcakes, going to space to destroy the multiverse or something. Okay. We, we got cupcakes. Couldn't get that, like, yellow spoon thing, I guess it is. I saw it, I just couldn't get it. And we can buy new characters. Like a Mario knockoff. What is this? Next enemy will drop a brain. I mean, sure. We'll uh, we'll buy the Mega Man knockoff. A robot buddy. Randomly assigned an element. It's water, I guess. Ah! You sound very angry. You are very angry. It's very weird, angry sounds. This... this camera behavior is kinda... I don't know how you go for like that frosting thing or whatever it is. I'm sure there's a, uh, a character that makes it possible. Which does kind of, like, give the game a certain replayability. If you're like, we gotta go through the levels with different characters to actually get all the unlocks. That's fair. The laser unharmed while your its color matches your character type. Okay. This whole, like, elemental thing seems like it's a pretty silly mechanic, like it doesn't really matter, but they're doing a good job of making it matter. Uh, also doing a good job of just killing us. It's killing us quite dead. I wonder if this character is going to be any better. It does say these things are weak to... Are they weak to my shots, or are my shots weak on them? Not very clear. I'm not very good at the platforming on this game. It is a little, little awkward, uh, but not the worst. Oh yeah, I suspect these are classed as water enemies. And so the fire attacks wouldn't do anything against them. They would be weak. Whereas doing the water attacks is just kind of neutral. Are they like monster infighting each other? What killed me? What killed me? Baby Bomber. 
Okay. Do I need to go back and get more elemental types? Get a uh, get a new character or two. I'm gonna keep grabbing this. Ah, reduce gravity. Again. These weird bubble type platforms. Got a ship piece. Okay. Oh. This enemy is like surprisingly hard. I'm gonna like get another character and see what see if that helps. See what our Mr. Game and Watch is like. Elemental type grass. Good. That will help. Those incredibly slow shots might not. You know what? It did help. I will take it. This is a weird character. Hmm, more. Okay. But they are dead. Extra gears. Oh, it's a spork. How random. Um. <clears throat> I, oh, I didn't. I didn't even like play with what my ability might be. Travel to space. Tackle the worlds in any order you want. I mean, I like that, mechanically. I like that approach. Uh... Can unlock another character? 100% the game to get this. Well... Defeat every level on D colon difficulty. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Defeat everything on... There's a lot of, like, character content and, like, variability and, like, like stuff to do later on. Unlock an enemy BC area page at random. Like, all the ship pieces. Like, all the frosting cans, all the sporks. Okay. Yeah, like, there's unlockables. There's lots of unlockables. So if that's the sort of thing that drives you, I guess. Attack with bouncing fireballs. Water element. Okay. I mean, obviously it's Mario. Uh... Ah, uh, we need... We need grass type for these things. The platforming physics doesn't really change very much, character to character. At least not as much as I'm noticing. I, I feel like that's a missed opportunity. Like, sure, they all attack differently, but... I feel like you could make them... You know, different on the, uh, the platforming side as well. Why, why is this trash can hovering? 
Welcome back, trash can. Ah, oh, there's a secret up there. There's totally a secret up there. And like the uh, the camera, the camera is a little troublesome. I do need to point that out. Like the camera just cannot keep up with what's happening at all. And it's like, it's, it's impeding being able to tell what's going on. Uh, do I want fire? Yes, I want fire. Uh, I'm dead. It seems to be stuck in this aesthetic. And I definitely want, like, I, I find myself wanting more characters because the one grass type that I have is kind of annoying, like with super slow shots. I appreciate that secret, though. I do appreciate that. Yeah, the, uh, the aesthetic on this is clearly just jammed. Like, it's not working right. Rawr. I can't figure out how to get over to the frosting. I'm just gonna avoid those, uh, those cannonballs that bounce. Clearly it, uh, it got itself stuck, aesthetically. Was that a fan or did I glitch the game? I feel like I very likely could have just glitched it right there. And it's hard to tell because we're stuck in this sketchbook aesthetic. Need fire for these. Oh, I got killed. I got unkilled? I just unkill myself? I'm picking up this. I the cupcake makes you immortal. Okay. Okay. You know what? I can go for that. The thing looked vaguely green, so it's probably... I figured probably grass type. Again, that's like, that's such a simple thing. Like, 
it, it's such a rudimentary weakness system, but that's all the game really seems to need. Can't unlock anything yet. Unlock bestiary page for space. Okay. Ah. Swap my affinity so I'm not going to take too much damage. I took too much damage. And and then it gets stuck like this. Uh which this has to be a bug. Like The aesthetic getting stuck like this has to be a bug. Also, I hit the switch and something happened and I'm not sure what. Okay, I don't know which way to go because there was another path, like down here. That was hard to see because the camera. I'm dead. Looks like a lot like a Game & Watch clone? Well, watch this. But wait, there's more. Yeah, your, uh, your characters are... Except for the default one, of course. Uh, all just references to various video games. Which I was worried about, but it works mechanically? Like, it's not that bad. Like, the, uh, the variety of character... Let's kill the damn frog. Uh, the variety in the characters makes for like, good combat management and all that. This might be the wrong way. I don't know. I'm not stuck. Um, but, like, they all platform the same, which is a little disappointing in terms of, like, what they could have done. I'm very dead. Okay. Uh, and the platforming is okay. The camera management is really, really kind of rough, in my opinion. Like, the, the, the zooming in, zooming out. I don't know what this just did for me. I also didn't realize it was this platform under the, uh, under the spork, so... Okay. It was fine all along. I'm gonna keep... Trying this upper path. I want to see 
Like, is it is it branching paths in in the level design? There's a ship piece up there, I guess. Okay, we had to do it that way because those were cycling too fast. Like, see, that's kind of a hard camera to work with when it's doing that. Yeah, we're not gonna get back there with double jump. Yeah, that is absolutely my number one complaint. The camera is just very erratic. It's pretty hard to work with. And then like the uh the the visual style. I I kind of enjoy that it changes with different power-ups. It's an interesting idea. Uh but it's buggy. <laughs> like it's not working correctly. See some of the other in the other worlds that seem to have no aesthetic difference. Okay, this is going to be a difficult one. This is going to be difficult. Oh, and there's drills there apparently. I'm dead. Okay, that is, that is three star. What does a five star look like? More item drops. So far, it looks like very tanky enemies. I leave that stamp behind as a warning to the others. Okay, I guess I landed safely. Um, stuff's happening. Stuff is absolutely happening. That was a good amount of happening. Um, I have a feeling this game is, uh, going to get proper difficult <laughs> pretty quick um i think i think i put enough time on this that i should move on to the next one i'm, I'm trying to like be respectful of time uh with each one it's like difficulty i was on hard i was on hard difficulty Um, why did it default to that? <laughs> also, that explains a lot. That, that explains a lot. Um, so, okay, okay, okay. Maybe if we go back to medium or easy, like, it'll be more reasonable and more enjoyable uh, in terms of dealing with enemies. But the camera is going to be the same, and that is my major complaint with the game. Um, but like, the, uh, the mechanics and ideas that make it up are not bad. Uh... 
like that uh, that elemental affinity stuff very simple but if it, it forces you to play different characters uh because you can only swap like outside of a level so you can't just like change your mario from fire to water to grass over and over you have to actually like try with different characters so i like that um the level design i i thought it was okay um i've i've been like reading and watching youtube videos about just game design in general and seeing like the the mentality that goes into a really good mario level and these didn't follow that but Mario levels aren't the only kind of platforming levels that you can make, so it doesn't necessarily have to. Uh, that said, like... I don't know. I don't, I don't know if they were, like, especially inspired, like, thematically or structurally or anything like that. Uh... So I don't know. Maybe like the uh, the combat element is more important, like in terms of the uh, the design and the idea. And so that's where more of the focus is on the uh, on the enemies and and all of that. Because again, like as far as I could tell, changing characters changes the kind of shots and specials you do. It doesn't change how you platform. So that kind of implies a priority. And also, it doesn't change the camera. I'm going to keep complaining about the camera because that is my main complaint with that game. Uh, if that were better, I would be like, eh, it's, what, three bucks? Sure. Um, actually, I think it's on sale right now. Like, yeah, it's a dollar and one cent. Like, With 96, the, if it had like more achievements, I would be like, is this even really trying to be a game or is it just achievement farming? Uh, you know, with it being really cheap and that, but no, oh, there's like a decent game underneath it. Um, it just, it just needed that that little bit of work, um, and make like a little bit of bug fixing with the. Uh, with the aesthetic kind of getting stuck. Uh, but other than that, like, it was fine. If you can put up with a camera, it's maybe worth trying.